Thank you for joining me for my easel camera experience today. My name is Janelle Atchison. In these clips I am painting a crossbill bird on an ampersand gesso board using Michael Harding oil paints. You can see as I'm painting I like to rotate my board. I'm very active and move the board around. This helps me capture the brush strokes, the motion, the energy, the life of my subject that I'm working on. These clips are sped up quite a bit. I like to spend hours and hours and months and months on each individual painting, but I wanted to share just a quick snapshot of the experience with you today. In this next view, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit different perspective of what my workspace looks like. You can see on my right hand side I do have my paint thinner as well as just basic linseed oil. This helps me thin the paint so that I can create long smooth strokes rather than the chunky paint which doesn't work with the style that I'm working with today. I'm going to continue to rotate the painting as, you can, as I mentioned earlier. It just helps me get the stroke angle that I'm trying to do. In these clips right here I am trying to highlight some of the light reflections that are bouncing off the feathers. It helps create the curve and the shape of the animal that I'm working on. In this case, crossbill bird. If you do have any questions as you are watching this, feel free to post them. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Atchison Artwork or find me on Facebook as well. I believe the links should be on the YouTube video that you're watching today. You will notice as I'm painting I quite often wipe my paintbrush either on a paper towel or on the palette itself. This just helps remove excess paint so I have a controlled very thin stroke. You can see with every stroke that I'm doing I do mix quite a few different colors in. It helps create more of a lifelike experience I feel. When you're in nature, there's a bird isn't just one color of red or one color of yellow. There's a huge variety of colors within any given creature. Not only is it in the natural feathering, but also in the way the light bounces off, the way a green is reflecting from a tree or the, the blue sky is bouncing off of the iridescence of a feather. I try to capture the layering of the colors as well as the natural colors that are found in any creature as well. As artists, we all perceive colors a little bit differently and perceive the way we see the world differently, and that's what's beautiful about artists is we capture that in our own unique way. If you are working on any artwork, I would love if you would post them either to me on Facebook, Twitter, or in the comments on this video. I would enjoy seeing what you're working on as well. That's, that's a great thing about being an artist is you're always learning, you're always growing, and I'm just sharing my experience, but I'm going to learn as I go as well, and that's, that's a great thing. Another reason I flip and rotate the canvas, or I guess in this case the gesso board so often, is as you rotate it, your eye sees the subject differently. It helps you see it in a new way, see it in a new angle, see it in a new perspective. And that helps you capture an animal or see things that you may have not seen when it was right side up. For example, your eye thinks a beak looks a certain way, but in reality, the beak has a much different shape than your eye or your brain tell you it looks like. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Just play an experiment and you'll start to realize, flip it upside down, look at it in a different way, and you might learn something as you try that. If not, no big deal.
You'll notice as I'm painting, I like to brace my hand with my pinky finger. This just helps me hold a steady hand. I, I've used my brush with some accuracy and sometimes too much coffee or <laughs> motion just gets in the way. And so using my finger as an anchor helps me get that accurate brush stroke. Everybody, of course, has their own style, but this is just what works great for me. When a painting is wet, it doesn't work quite as well, so I do use a T-square to help brace my hand on the T-square over top of a painting. You'll see that in future clips. And in this, these clips, you'll see I place the white on, but then I also smooth it out, and so it's almost like I'm creating a transparency of the white. It's just a soft, soft effect, which is going to help capture the motion of the wings in the final painting. The wings are just a blur. We are coming to the end of the clips. Unfortunately, my camera <laughs> died, and so I didn't capture nearly as much as I wanted to, but in just a second you will see the finished painting. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I do hope that you enjoyed the experience as much as I did. Please follow me at Atchison Artwork on Twitter or on Facebook. The links are below. Thank you.